She she did. She told me about it. Yeah. And I wanna thank her for that because she helped us. And I, I remember you talking about yeah. it. That's why I wanted to bring up uh, Miss yeah. Hastings as well. Yeah. Greg, I had another question for you. You know how in the era of CSI, you know, everybody, you know, feel like you know, they we you could be a part of the crime fighting community. You know, right. you you know how to, you know, use uh Google to find anybody nowadays or just use Google Maps. We think we you know, we just we can work in a crime lab today with all of the technology that's available, right? Okay. All right, with that being said, why didn't you? Oh, let, let's even go back to the movie Liam Neeson Take Him. You know, because we all him. like yeah. like yeah. like to believe that we're gonna you yeah. know run in there and, and save the day with the daughter. Why why did you do something like that? Well, like I said in that movie, if anyone saw that movie, um, his daughter was of age. She was abducted. But before she was abducted, she contacted her father. She told her father where she was going, where she was going to be. So when these strangers came in, you know, she was able to contact her father, and then her father was able to tell her what to do because he told her, they're going to take you. Go willingly. I'll come and get you. Well, in Myra's point, there was no way that I could do that because I had no idea where she was or where she went. Um, because when she left out of the house, I had no idea she had left out of the house. Nobody had any idea she had left out of the house. Because, you know, it's like I had told them when I got up a little after 12 to give them their lunch, and I first noticed she was missing. I asked the children, where was Myra? Every one of them said she's going with mama. And it's common that this happens on a regular basis. Right. So I didn't think anything of it. Oh, she's going with mom. Okay, okay, well, mom took her to relieve me because I was with the baby. And I thought that clean until she got home. Right. And then what did you do when, when you realized? I mean, when she got home, she came in, she asked me where was Myra. And we argued, you know, because I was like, Myra's with you. And she's like, no, Myra's not with me. I said, no, Myra's with you. So when I asked the children, they were like, well, we thought she went with Myra. So now I'm like going crazy. Okay, it's been a while now that mom's been gone. And you, you, you told us you so did, what did some you things. Do? You, what did you, you do? told us? What did you, um, you, you I got up and, you know, I went outside, got on my four-wheeler. And, I mean, I rode. There's places that I know my children go, and I know there's places that they don't go. But I covered every square inch and mile of where they don't go and where they do go. She was not there. I mean, I rode that four-wheeler completely out of fuel. Well, I had to push it back in the yard. Then I got in my truck and rode to my neighbors, to every neighbor on my road that's within, I would say, a mile range. And I asked them, had they seen her? Nobody had anything. They said, no, they didn't see her. So I'm searching. I'm Knowing, okay, she's only two, so she if she's walking, she can't go but so far. Right, right. So after I cover a mile each direction, I'm like, she can't walk any further than this. I get back home, I say, I don't see her. She calls police. You know, she calls the sheriff department. They come right out. When they first get there, I tell them, look, I've already we're searched. Gonna, we're going. Because we don't want to. But the reason we uh, 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 reason we uh, bring this point up is because we wanted to highlight the fact that um, dispel the, the rumor for anybody's point that nothing was done or no action was taken. Or when you ask the question why why aren't the family the fa family is very actively involved constantly with uh, uh, just because you don't see them doing anything doesn't mean they're not doing anything. I would tell you that if. Just to give you a background on on the Lewises, and I and I hate to speak for them, this is a general giant, a general giant. If you can tell the interaction between them and the wife, they they have no animosity between each other. They actually are fortified together, trying to find their baby. Well, it's like it's like my wife said. You know, we I mean, we we really appreciate you two guys for one, because um, I met you guys first, and. Um, you know, and then you know when Barbara came in, I mean, she just turned it up a whole nother level, and you know, it's you know, and we we just can't thank 
you know, you three enough. I mean, it's it's a lot of support out there, which we've talked to some people today, and they were asking us kind of, you know, what happened? You know, why we haven't heard anything anymore? You know, we don't have the answers to give them. You don't. You know, I told them, I said, well, we're doing an interview today. I, I can't tell you where it's going to air. I said, when I find out, I'll let you know. But, I mean, the, there's a lot of people <laughs> that's still right. concerned. Right. And we were passing our flyers yesterday in South Jackson, and we went to... Uh, um, um, wing, wing stop. stop. <laughs> and and when I passed out the flyer, the, a lady that was in there actually saw the flyer. She was like, "Um, have y'all found her yet?" And I was like, "No, ma'am, we haven't found her." And, you know, and she kind of like went into tears right there. I mean, she was like, "Y'all haven't heard anything." And, and you know, it, once people you know look at us and really find out, you know, that we're the actual parents, right, right. then. It's kind of a, a it whole changed different. It's changed their thought of mind. Yeah, their whole what thought they process changes right. because I guess the way the media had us, you know, looking or whatever, they always kept us separated. My version played against her version of what went on. Right. And this is basically the first time that we ever spoke as a unit. So, you know, it, it's just different things that, that people are, you know, they're wondering, you know, how can, you know, the media or the police department or whatever just drop a case like this, a missing child? You know, because like the lady told us yesterday, she said, well, that could have been my child. I mean, I wouldn't want them to stop looking for my child. I wouldn't even want to think that they stopped looking for my child. You know, she said, you know, everybody that look at us, they ask us, you know, I don't see how y'all can be strong. You know, because... And I tell them, well, we have other children, right. other family members right. that are really looking at us. And if we crumble, you know, I know my family. You know, if I crumble, then that's it. See, he he's mostly the the strong one on his side. Yeah. And if if he if he crumble, his his dad, even though his dad older than him, he's like a role model to his dad. So if he crumble. His dad is gonna fall. Right, right. That Mara was all his grandchildren is his heart. Yeah, right, right. You know, he, he, talked to but, he has no picks whatsoever. And if he falls, his sisters, his mama. Yeah, so he have to stay strong. I have to stay strong because I'm the mom. The children look up to me. We have all, a lot of girls, so I have to be strong as me being a woman and there be being girls. So I have to be strong for them. Because if I fall, because they look at me, if I cry, they gonna cry. So I try not to cry. But when I'm alone, it's different. It's, it's different when I'm alone. Just me and him in our room, and I happen to look at one of her pictures, I break down because now I'm thinking, where could she be? Only if I was at home. Only if I would have went home, like I said, go get them shoes and come back home. But I stayed out longer than I should. Well, you know, we all, I mean... Our whole family kind of look back on that day, and we can all say now, you know, what we could have done different, you know. But that's past. You know, we can't turn that back. You know, so what we're doing now is trying to go forward right. to find her to bring her back home, and the mistakes that we made in the past will never be made again. Right. Um, it's say said like we are now. You know, we were thinking of things that we were gonna do out there that we were prolonging because, you know, we were in the process of moving. Right, right, well, right. now that we have moved, what we said we were going to do out there, we've done it. You know, we have, yeah. You so made you know, provisions so, so that, right. yeah, so that won't happen again. So, right. And if it does happen, we'll know it, you know, we'll know what happened and what time and how, you know, everything. So we, we thank you for allowing us in your lives. Uh, yeah, we really do. We really appreciate yeah. it. Because, I mean, we thought it was tough. I mean, I mean, just to, to let us in the home and then to let us in, you know, to let us in. So we we really appreciate you guys. And for allow and to talk it to us, man, because you didn't have to do it. You right. didn't have to do it. Over Cause, time, too. Right. Because so. you clearly said, I don't want I don't want this out like that. I don't want to be on TV. I don't want this. Right. I don't want to be on TV. So we so appreciate this. We so appreciate this. Our aim is to help us find Myra. Right. To bring attention to this story once again so that we can bring Myra home. Uh, again, I'm Alden. And I'm Calder. And you guys have a good